Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. That's German for 3. Today we're going to visit the jail. Because last time we did the rest of Irithyll and now only this area technically is left. I mean, we could kill Emma, but that's not nice. Uh, she will die on her own terms. So let's keep keep going here in the distant manner, by the way. Distant manner. What does that even mean? That's not a manner. That's just like you go in there, grab this bonfire, and you go out again. That's not a manner. That's like just ambush, by the way. Uh, that, 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 that's it. Manor is over. Nothing in the manor itself. So I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't call this place a manor. I wouldn't. I would call this like a tunnel or something. There's just a bunch of regular irrefer enemies in here, and then it's over. So. But it's important that we do not do this before we get rid of Aldrich, or um, technically it's important that you send Grey Red to, to pillage that, uh, to pillage Irithyll, you talk to Sigward, and you keep going in Irithyll, don't go down here. I mean, I think up to this point it's fine, but past this point it's, it's bad. Because so now you see we have this fog here, and if I'm if I if I can believe the wiki, then once you kill Alva, it's over. That's where you have the potential for um, Sigward, I think, to uh, continue his quest line. Like he will despawn in the in the poop kitchen, and then Grey Red dies. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, I mean, Patches can also save Grey Red, but maybe only if Sigward, and maybe only if you don't um, give Sigward the armor in the well, if you don't even find him, I think then, maybe, maybe at that point he can, uh, Patches can, can save Grey Red, I don't know. Man, it, it sounds windy down here, but like there is no indicator. There's, I mean, I guess the clouds are moving fast, so the wind is coming from this side probably. Um, but yeah, I guess this um, the staircase. Where does it lead to? Maybe to the smoldering lake, because it should be somewhere, somewhere down there. Let's see if we can see it from up here. The window. And the rock formation. Otherwise it's somewhere... Maybe in this black spot there. Somewhere in there. I guess. Eh, not further down I guess, no. We could have seen though. We, we saw this area during the Smoldering Lake playthrough or episode. But now we're going into this, into this um, not so scary, scary area. What? <laughs> now we're in the Irithyll dungeon, and I mean they kind of built this place like a, like you would build it in a horror game, but it's not really that scary. I mean there are a few jump scares. In particular. In particular, these dudes that, first of all, if you enter this place here, at some point, come on, at some point, yeah, that's pretty nice. You know when in horror games, right, um, uh, you're, you're looking down a corridor and then there is a, then on, uh, on the end of the corridor you have this, uh, you have the open door and you see someone moving across like here from right to left or from left to right and then you go in there and they're gone well this enemy is not gone but similar vibes right 
But I've turned I, I've turned down the volume because of this dude. Partially because of this dude, because it, when you pick up the item, they scream. And I guess that's the only jump scare, uh, these dudes that scream. I mean, the next one we will hear at max or at full value, volume. Volume. <laughs> yeah, at full volume. And I don't know, do I have to remove my headset for that? Because it's going to be so loud for me. Now you have to think, like, at least the first time you're going through here. Is everyone going to scream now? And then at some point, because not everyone is going to scream, you're, you're forgetting it. Right? You're forgetting that the... That there are some dudes who... Uh, that there are some dudes who scream. And then you're getting jump scared again. I think this can happen, or I think there are three different... Scream jump scares. One up here, the other one is at the end of the corridor over there, and so on. Hello! And these jailers are special, because they have a stupid mechanic where... Like, they have two modes, attack mode or caution mode, what, whatever. And peaceful mode, uh, similar to Minecraft. They are basically like Minecraft. They have a peaceful mode and they have a survival mode, I don't know. Um, but when when their uh, eyes are glowing red, they... I guess, yeah, there was a video where it shows you how these, how, how these uh, jailers work. Like, the smoke they're emitting does nothing. It's basically just like an indicator, like... Yeah. The smoke is doing nothing, even though it kind of looks like car smoke or something. But when their eyes are red and they see you, they shoot invisible bullets at you. And every single bullet reduces your maximum HP for a certain duration. I think it's like 30 seconds or something. You can dodge these bullets a little bit. Like they're they're invisible projectiles basically, that's how it works mechanically. And then there are a bunch of um, these dudes who we know from the from the what's it called? From the graveyard or the the cemetery. From the Cathedral of the Deep, that's what it's called. Something, something deep. And I kind of feel like they wanted to uh, evoke the Tower of Latria vibes from Demon's Souls. And if you don't know me and if you have already forgotten, I don't know if I've told you that, but I've probably told you that at some point. Um, I have played Demon's Souls very, very late, right? I've played it once they took down the servers for Demon's Souls, and only then I had the game and a PlayStation 3 and a working controller for the PlayStation 3, because I would have played that, earl that game earlier, but I had to stop playing because it was unbearable, like the, the controller was halfway broken basically and it's not fun with a broken controller and then at some point I noticed I can use the PlayStation 4 controller for that or could I play this game on the PlayStation 4? I don't know nah but I think I think you can use I used a newer controller whatever um let's hear the scream and um let me take off my headset a bit Ah, still out. Ah. I really, like... If you're playing this game very loud, or fairly loud, where every hit is quite something, in, in volume, I mean, and then you encounter this place, like, holy shit. 
instant hearing damage, it feels like. Similar to Dark Souls 2's um, Looking Glass Knight before a specific patch. But yeah, I've played uh, what I wanted to say. I've played Demon's Souls fairly late. I've uh, played the original. I don't have a PlayStation 5, so I can't play the remake or re remaster, whatever it's called. Um, Tower of Latria is a fucking maze. Holy shit. And luckily this place is not a fucking maze. Because in this in this place you only have like this corridor. That one down there that is always connected with the staircase here. And then the same thing on the other side. And that's it. It's a fairly it's a very very simple mapping here. And it's kind of thematic. Uh, I'm wondering why these candles image greenish, green yellowish light. That's a bit strange, but other than that, like the mood down here is fine. You have like the rattling of these chains when you go past them. I can't move them with my sword. It's unfortunate. Then you have the jailer is very, very thematic or very I don't know how to pro how to how to how to say that, but I like this place just for the atmosphere, not necessarily the gameplay. Even though the gameplay is fine, I like this area a bit more than the next area we are going to explore next episode. I don't like the profane capital, but I like this one. The jail is quite nice. Even though you have to backtrack quite a bit. Yeah, this dude is also there to jump scare you. These maggot filled corpses that yet still move. Kinda disgusting. But it has these jail vibes, right? Uh, they they've they've done a great job at creating this place, I must say. Even though I kinda wish we had different prisoners here just some other enemy type not not again these these maggot ridden corpses that's that's not my favorite enemy to fight and these aren't either but i guess i like to imprison maggots and for some reason that this is also so random like okay this one i guess or someone here was a mage and they had like great magic shield not even something special in there now no special lore unfortunate but the thing that i don't like about this area is the backtracking like there are a bunch of doors that are closed that where you have to find the key for and that takes some time and it's like ugh. then you found the key you have to go back you have to go through this area again at least this is the nice part of the area down there it becomes a bit more bullshitty because there are so many jailers at one spot just walking in circles I like how every every swing with the great sword sends them flying. That's really satisfying, and it's also good because um, when you send them flying, their bullets either stop working from the get go or they just shoot at the ceiling. One of one of both things uh, doesn't really matter which one. They're not hitting you. That's the that's the main main part. If you're wondering where these strange noises are coming from, they're coming from our next um, jump scare. There's, oh, oh, an item. How nice. And they've built it. So I want to I wanna hear myself talk. Sorry. <laughs> but this dude down there is very loud. But here comes the next jump scare, and it's actually pretty well done. You can see something moving back there, but maybe you're not looking at it because you see this item. Then his model, like this dude's model over here, this one, hello, is being obscured 
by this part of the wall sometimes and then you're most likely first of all looking in this like you so you see no direct danger here right you come in here you maybe look to the side then you keep going you look around the corner to to see if there is someone lurking around the corner over here at this spot and then maybe you see him you see something moving and then oh what the fuck is this but it's not attacking you and it looks disgusting and it has no real texture which is strange it kind of feels like they are missing the texture but i guess this is intentional like these uh, i don't know if they these are experiments or something else caused them to transform but these are uh, basically a very similar i think to um uh, to Dark Souls 2, like failed dragons. Like they've tried to become dragons, or or someone tried to make them into dragons, whatever. And they became this thing. Kinda kinda fucked up, but and then they like okay, let's lock these things up. This one is not doing anything. This is why they're probably during multiplayer sessions. There's always like a friend or something similar like don't you dare friend whatever messages around but who the fuck cares. So it's time to get the next key or the first key. Is this the first key? This is indeed the jailbreaker's key. Um. Kind of weird that you have a key for that. Uh, there's still more to explore here. Technically, we don't even need to go down here because we've gotten the key. But I want to go this way. I'm always forgetting I can't do the jumping attack. Or the, the plunging attack here. Because of the cheat engine configurations. Like the game is not. I'm technically technically not falling here, so. Or am I? No, I can't do the plunging attack. This one, on the other hand, will attack. And this one has a nice little dagger there. Uh, no drop though, unfortunate. Because these daggers are pretty cool weapons, at least for multiplayer. They can create a like like the dagger version that this dude had creates a Dark Souls one shockwave if I if I remember correctly like the like the Drake sword from Dark Souls one a very similar or the same attack basically and then we have a spear which is arguably a bit cooler in my opinion that this dude has and they create a like a small tornado that, that pushes enemies away. Like a tornado around the weapon. Let's free this one. Maybe he or they drop the weapon. Let's see. Nope. How unfortunate. Okay, it's time to go back. It's time to use the jailbreaker's key. Because if we go down there, we will end up at the same location. Just minus a ring, and I want to have that ring. By the way, what scrolls do I have right now? Uh, London Braille. Now this is all for witches. Like that's a bit. Th that, that that's the stupid thing. Like. You want to go down here first, like you want to go down here as soon as possible into the jail, into the profane capital to get access to the to the final magic teacher. But then you also don't want to kill Grey Rat. So, eh. Maybe, maybe you can wire it a bit differently, because I, I think, um, in order to 
get gray red back from his um what's it called like from his plundering whatever uh, from its his thievery tour whatever you want to call it like you need to kill a boss like you sent him you kill a kill a boss and he's he's back or something like that or maybe you need to get two bosses i don't know um maybe you can start killing a optional boss and then go down here i don't know But if you do it like I do it, you I, I think you have to. You you basically have to kill Aldridge before he reappears. You can already see the profane capital from here, and oh boy, this looks amazing. Like look at that. That looks that that's a that's a nice view. With the crack in the in the wall and the sunlight coming through. But sadly, this place is so underwhelming. Kind of wish they would expand this place a bit more. Uh, the profane capital, that is. Uh, not the not the prison right here. Hey, where are you going? So. And I think... Now that all the loud shit is gone for now, I can turn out the volume again. And last time I wanted to have a look at the mimics, right? And I didn't. But here we have a mimic. Hello. So. Um, uh, I actually want to get grabbed. Um, so let's get rid of the iframes. You can hit me. Can you? Yeah, okay, good. Why is he not hitting me with, with he? Okay, now. Nah. Okay, he's just munching, like... Yeah, okay, he's not closing, he's just hitting me with the lid, basically. But, like, I don't know. Even though the teeth... If they're supposed to be fingers, or arms, or whatever... They're certainly very sharp. But what I'm still wondering, like... How... How? How does the shit fit into... Can I pacify him again? No. No. Now let me... Can I do this afterwards? How many things do I have on my bar? Okay, that's enough. Uh, okay, final time, final time. Yeah, now you can. So... Oh, it works! Nice. Okay, I bit... Like... I don't know, man. Yeah, I guess they are fingers. Oh. But still, how does his, his body and legs fit underneath the chest thing? And how does this thing eat? Cool design, though. Very uncanny valley. It looks like a like a like a demon or something. I mean, it's a demon of some sort, I guess. This is so cheap. Like, uh, I'm really not a fan of this part as well because these are basically just the just the workers or farmers from from the undead settlement, just with these stupid. Masks or helmets on. Uh, just why? Why not make new enemies for this place? It's so lame. But oh well. Time for a giant. Hello, Mr. Giant. 
I can't inflict bleed with the with my current settings, right? Oh well. Because when I'm immune, they're immune as well. Oops. Again, how did they fit a giant in here? <laughs> like a giant giant. This was a giant giant. This was not just a giant. This was a giant giant. Like the giant giants, you know? Similar size to the cathedral giants. And not the smaller giants. <laughs> uh, have I said giant already? No? Oh, that's such a strange place here, like... This is still part of the jail, obviously. We have like cages hanging from the ceiling and from these wooden beams and all. It looks amazing. We have some verticality here, because up to this point we don't know how to get to this item, for example. But it's also so straightforward, so very straightforward, this area. We can jump down to this part, and then we have to decide, do we go lower? Or do we keep going in here? That's a good question, where do we go now? Um, let's go down. And now we can already see um, the reason why Grey Red dies, I think, over here, is because... Oh, we can talk to him over here. Um, how many reds are there? There's one coming. I don't think they will infin indefinitely spawn here. Like, there's another one in there. Okay, is that enough? No more red over there. Ah, oh, there are two more reds, holy shit. How am I supposed to talk to Sigward if these reds keep coming? There's another one, holy shit. There's... This is ridiculous, holy fuck. Okay, let's just talk to him. Hello. Mm -hmm. Never talked to him here. Mm -hmm. Maybe once, but... Mm -hmm. I know why. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. Oh, look at me. Trapped like a rat. <laughs> These rats are not trapped. I've just been sitting here wearing my options. The moment has almost come. I just need a bit more time. Surely. My liberation requires a key. But the key is outside. Hmm. A riddle for the ages. My liberation. Okay. My god, this is annoying. How is one supposed to talk to him? If these shitheads keep spawning, holy fuck, that's annoying. No wonder I never talked to him. Alright. Shortcut time. Woo. Is this a needed shortcut is my question though. I mean, so far, sure, the path was fairly long, but was it that difficult? I mean, if you're getting hit by the life drain, by the life drain shit, it's technically also hurting you because you're not getting the health, the health back when when your max HP rises up again. Like, let's say you have one thousand nine hundred HP, they drain you down to 1 HP, that you only have 1 max HP or whatever the minimum is left. And it recovers so that you're back at 1900 maximum HP. Your current HP still stays at 1. 
That's the that's the annoying part about them, about the jailers. No more rats. So now I could talk to him, I guess. What's even down here? Let's see. Huh. Nothing. It kind of looks like there is a tunnel down there. From this side. There might be something down there. Obviously we can't access it, but... Um, looks like there could be something. Here we have another Mimic. There are quite a few Mimics down here. I think four in total, or five. If you count the profane capital as well. Ooh, just a few arrows. How useless. Where are you? Where are we even now? Like, this is not a cell block. This is just weird. Like, I haven't talked about the level design so far, but. Like, where are we? This leads into a room. Like, okay. Let's recap. We drop down to the giant. Where there are a bunch of rats. I can talk to Sigurd. We get, can get the shortcut. <sighs> I have to yawn because I'm tired. Once again, I'm recording. It is... Almost... 1 a.m. Um, so we so we drop down to the giant. We unlock the shortcut. Whatever we go up into this room with the one mimic with the th with the ten stupid lightning great arrows, whatever they're called. And we go up a ladder. It feels so empty here. Like level design, okay, yeah. Uh, it exists, I guess, but. More lightning shit, like... What do I need lightning for? Because... Like these these items that we've gotten right now... We've gotten... Do they even make sense in this? Like... We, we are getting 10 arrows, why not 50? We're getting 10 of these... Dragon Slayer lightning arrows. And we are getting nine of the lightning bolts. Why not just one full quiver? Why not 99? Why is it always such a small number that you use them nine times or ten times and it's already gone? And why lightning? Is lightning so good down here? Is some enemy down here weak to lightning? Maybe the giant? I think, like, okay, if you, I don't know, like, usually you give players, usually I say, you give players the items they need in the upcoming level. And now we're in the sewer system again, holy shit. But usually that's what you're doing in a, either you give them just regular items they might need in the upcoming level, or in general good items, like upgrade material, uh, weapons that are thematic, thematically fitting to the area. Or you give them items they might need in this area, for example, in a poison swamp. You, before you are in the poison swamp, you're getting the poison bite ring in this game. Uh, granted, you're getting the poison bite ring in the Cathedral of the Deep, but you technically could go there before, before you go to the poison swamp, and then it's helpful if you're doing it. Uh, in a reverse order then obviously not, but why the lightning arrows and bolts? Why is there a mimic holding lightning arrows? Uh, what the fuck is that loot? That's trash loot. I don't think there is one single person that was happy to find these great arrows and these bolts. Like, oh wow. Ammunition. Cool. Anyways. Like... What? It feels like they, they, they've they started so strong with their design and now they're lacking again. Like, I, I wonder if they even... 
think about the item placements. It's something that I'm wondering, like... Let's see what we get here, because here we have a normal chest. With the old cell key. Okay, let's keep that in mind. When we open that chest, these basilisks are being released. We could hear them before. Lightning not that good against them, I feel like. The sword is much better. So these these can't be the the right enemies. Then we have here a mimic again. A special mimic. This is the Dark Souls 2 mimic. I think they are much more creepier th like this. Don't you think? Or maybe Maybe not. Maybe they're both creepy in their own right. Why is this one so bad poorly illuminated? I feel like this one is a bit more difficult to, to fight against. Just a tiny bit. Like they're both fairly simple, but just, just a tiny bit more difficult. Because you rarely encounter them in this game and they might uh, might get you off guard with that. Like the element of surprise. Yeah, it's a fairly straightforward sewer system. Okay, the sewer system ends in a... To the side of a bridge. And it goes down here, where there is usually... that. There's a walkway down there, there's a staircase. They again... <laughs> like, uh, what, what, is, what is wrong with the Irithyll dudes? Like the people living in Ir Irithyll. Like they, li they like their poop water. Remember the kitchen that is connected to the sewers? Here you have something similar, like you have a staircase and then you have this the sewer shit, like the, the, the sewage is supposed to flow through here, down there, again in front of the fucking staircase. What, what is wrong with them? Like the... no, sorry, this is now a headcanon. Everyone in Irithyll likes to eat, eat shit. That, that is now canon. You can't argue against that. I mean, you even... In this place, like, this is how they feed their inmates. Right? They have this uh, the sewer system over there, probably coming from Irithyll. Right? But this time you have even more sewage. Because it's deeper down, right? It, it's getting collected here. And you even have a bridge built to that thing so that you can uh, fill up your plates. It's like a, a vending machine, almost. Maybe not as expensive as a vending machine, but this is now canon. So I mean, sure, this... Oh, that's a, cons that's a nice conspiracy. Maybe Miyazaki likes to eat shit. That's why he likes to create poison swarms. Because they remind him of eating shit. I can't make this video. <laughs> okay, I should stop here. Um, we clearly have a broken down win not window uh, wall here. I wonder. Let's see. Everything indicates that it's broken to the outside. So some someone tried to force their way out of here. No, not this dude. This dude could never break this these bars, but. Like either the giant ripped a hole in here, like he grabbed the grabbed the bars and with his giant fingers somehow he got between the bars and then ripped it out towards here because it's bent outwards. Or something forced their way through here. Could also be the case. And they before that Let's see, let's go in here. No, this is more sewage. This is just more sewage. Oh, you see that? That's not a prison part, that's a sewer part. But that could be all... Huh? So now, is this supposed to be a prison cell or is this supposed to be a sewer system? Or maybe... Oh, I get it. 
I get it now. We have, to, but before that, we have to look at the yeah dunk by thanks. Couldn't have figured that out before, but I think they broke through here, created this tunnel, broke through there, and then tried to escape through that, through that hole. Someone, the inmates here. But let's see. I want to see something. If the other cells look similar to this one, because there's more sewage down here. Like, what what are they doing? Is this a cell block or is this a sewer system? Now we also have these poop... Okay, I, I figured it out. I figured it out and I'm going to explain in a short time. My theory that is not a theory, it's canon. It is now canon. And yes, I am slowly descending into madness. Why are you asking? Uh, one more, I thought I killed everyone here. Goodbye. So, that's how this dungeon works. Of course, this is a cell, right? We can see this by all these shackles hanging from the ceiling uh, and, and, and stuff like this. But usually you have to maintain your inmates, right? Like they need to have a toilet, they need food. And yes, you can bring them food occasionally. I mean, there are a bunch of bones here. Maybe they ate each other or... Or they got some poop. Or they don't even need any food, right? Because we know it's canon. It's definitely canon. They like to eat shit in Irithyr. So it's actually not dangerous to them. So they have the sewer system that probably flows in one direction, right? So that it's not filling up and you have these channels here in the cells themselves so the inmates can poop into the into the channel right and uh, let's say the, the 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 sewage flows from from this way to to that way over there or the other way around doesn't matter right so um so we, we have a toilet system in here, technically. Yeah, it's, it's part of a toilet system. But it's also part of their food, right? Because as we know, Aerithyl people like to eat shit. Um, and yeah, that's how these cell blocks work. How generous. And of course, I could be joking. Or I could not. Because honestly, who designed this place? Like, there's even sewage down here. Like, what the fuck are you doing? I guess uh, something was clogged up. So the sewage is down here as well. Uh, this is probably here the worst. What am I even doing? Why am I killing them? Let's use this dude. Hello. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah. Come on. Who's winning? Ooh. Stop attacking me. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, they lost. How unfortunate. Sometimes they decimate every single Jailer in here, and sometimes they just die to the first Jailer they see. Oh, they're seen by. Unfortunate. But yeah, let's get rid of the... every last Jailer here. Like, it's so tiring to see the same enemy over and over again. Please, more variety. Please. I can't open this one, no, it's locked. Everything is locked. Ugh. Backtracking. I mean, backtracking in the upper part is fine, almost fine. Every single piece of backtracking is shit, but... It's almost bearable. Right. And be prepared, it's going to be loud. Sorry to everyone was trying to fall asleep. I didn't design this level. Oops. 
Man, they're lucky that this game concept is so fun. And that it works so well. Because sometimes, like, the levels are lacking. Lately, the levels are lacking in immersion, I feel like. This place is, is, is much more immersive than Irithyll, in my opinion. Irithyll was beautiful. But not really immersive. This place also makes no sense. And it... And you could call it beautiful in some weird way. It definitely looks cool. Um, and it's very thematic and probably your first playthrough, it's very immersive as well. So they've done a good job. But then if you're looking through the level, if you're just sightseeing like I am doing right now, we're basically just tourists in here. We're, we're going through here, making pictures. Um, telling everyone how bad the local food is because I don't I don't know about you but I don't like to eat shit. Um, but yeah. But then you have to then you're looking at the level design, what they've actually built here. Like what what the story behind this place is. And then you have cells uh, connected to the sewer system. You have a giant that is once again imprisoned or. I don't know how the giant got in there. Maybe at some, maybe he grew. It could be it. Like at some point, he was a small giant, so he could fit through. So he could barely fit through the corridors, but then he start started growing. It's kind of nice how the atmosphere changes all of a sudden. Like, do you remember when we first got in here? Um, from Irithyll, from the far manor or whatever it was called. Uh, there was this windy sound, like this, the, the wind sound. Now we're going outside again. And it's no longer windy. I quickly want to see something, please. Wait a bit. But let's... Oops. Let's take out the camera for, for a second. Uh, which way do I need to go? It's always mixed up. Because we are here right now. Over there is Arch Dragon Peak, right? And this is, by the way, how I'm how I'm making my, my screenshots. And then I want to see what's up here. Uh, nothing, of, of course nothing. Ooh. That is new. Huh. The eclipse already happened. I wonder what this... Hmm. Now, of, co of course, the level isn't loaded, but I wanted to see. This is probably part of Erythe here right now. I want... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'll string peaks over there. Okay, it doesn't make... We're going to have a look at this area later on. Um, this, this is probably, maybe it is, maybe it is, that would be nice. Nah, it's probably not. No, nah, that makes no sense. Never mind. Never mind. Ah, unfortunate. No, it makes no sense anyways. I was thinking like uh, the round thing that we saw on top of the tower part was the plaza after of Sullivan where everyone like to play PvP but that probably makes no sense from a like logistically that makes no sense like oh, geographically I don't know what <laughs> I don't know it makes probably no sense that that it's up there because where is the sewer system first of all why the sewer system <laughs> Now, where where is the entrance to the where is the entrance to this place? The entrance is. I mean, it's working its way towards the plaza. Well, maybe we're going to we're we're going back and have a look soon enough because we're almost through this level now. Um, do I go and visit the profane capital? No, I'm not. 
So I came from there. Then I'm going, did I pick up the... Uh, what am I searching right now? Right. No, I didn't, okay. So I wanna go up again, because I wanna open up the remaining doors, or cell blocks, I think. Like if we have a look in these cells, there is no sewer, whatever, connection. So these, no, they do. <laughs> Some of them do. Okay. I mean, it's pretty solid evidence that they like to eat shit here. P pretty solid evidence. So where is... I mean, what I, what I also like about this place, like, uh, when I'm going through here now, it's very silent. You only hear the footsteps of the character. Already still holy shit. You need even you need another key for that as well. Like you need the key to free Carla. That is so shit, holy shit. Did I say shit already? I think I haven't said shit enough right now. It's a poop episode. Like Okay, everything is now forever tainted for me. Literally tainted. Tainted like the... Tainted like these... These trousers here. Help me for that. <laughs> they are dampened... Uh, and, and stained with the misery of flight, sure. Yeah, this, this place is also stained with the misery of flight uh, or something. Can I open the... I can't open this one. What even is this key then for? What? Do I need the extra cell key deluxe or something? What is this key for then? Key to the oldest How do I know what the oldest cell is? Holy shit. I just wasted some time going through here. The oldest cell. What is the oldest cell? Did I open that already? Old means always down there. Oops, wrong, wrong door. Right, so the lowest point is always the oldest one. For some reason. They never start at the top. But, yeah, lightning blade. Let's read lightning blade. Why not? And also the coal thing. Uh, lightning blade. Miracle allegedly wielded by a certain drink slayer knight in the age of gods. Reinforces right weapon with lightning. Tales of dragon slayers are now rare things. Or now a rare thing. Told only in fragments and whispers in remote regions. So what do I want to say first to this area? Um It's nice how the sound changes. It's no longer windy outside. And we have this faint droning sound. And it doesn't really fit to how the clouds are moving, because the clouds are moving very fast, indicating that it's very windy. But this part is not windy. I mean, apparently it is windy because the grass is moving, but it shouldn't be windy. It doesn't sound windy. This is how I would imagine something it to be like in the in the eye of a storm. Where you're not experiencing any wind. But you hear the wind outside or the, the, the wind wall, so to speak. So what is the oldest cell? Was it this one with the coal inside? Or with the ashes? Profaned coal. Um, remnants of the fire that burned down the profaned capital, preserved in an icy skull. Okay. 
uh, that's our uh, for dark blood and hollow so hmm what kind of fire burned down the profane capital we're going to investigate that in the next episode of course and then we get the Zanches. Is that how you pronounce it? Zanches? Ashes. Umber ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sorceries of a long lost land. With this, the shrine handmaid will prepare new items. They were called Zanches scholars, but some foolishly imitated them by simply dressing in yellow. Okay, so this might be one of them. Or maybe not. But I guess this is the oldest cell then, because I can't free Kala now, right? This one should be closed with the other cells as well that are... Yeah, so that means we need to come back later here. And now this episode is going to be a bit shorter. Hmm. Hmm. Technically this is... This is no longer part of the area. So, this is where I'm going to end the exploration part. But I've told you I, want to see, I wanted to see something before. Um, I want to see if it makes sense. Or it makes somewhat sense. Uh, let's travel back to uh, Pont of Sullivan. I want to see where the Arch Dragon Peak is. Because it must be the same orientation then. And this is the only round thing in my mind that fits. Yeah, we have we have Arch Dragon Peak right in front of us. So hmm. Okay, so maybe it's this part. This tower over there. But obviously we can't see anything down here. Like if I if I pull out free cam again. Like there is nothing down there. It's just obviously not, because you're not supposed to look down there. But this is not it, this is not round enough. So this one could be round enough and this one could be round enough. Um Let's see, how do we get into the... How, how do we even get into the system, into the... Into the jail, or whatever. Is this a distant mana over there? Let me fly up a bit higher. Um, it's kind of scuffed now, no, the distant mana should be over there. Let me just fly through here. Really quickly. Uh, go through here. So, this is the dam. And this is the entrance to the manor. Let me. No, I can't fly through here. I can't see the things. They're obviously not loading. Um, but no, that makes no sense. Okay, let's. Let the camera retreat. Hmm. Must be over there then, I think. Somewhere in this in this part that we can't that we can't look at. Because if we go back to the distant distant uh the distant manor I think so, right? I'm calling it uh Yeah, distant manor. Hmm. I want to see where it where it is. So uh, basically, if you don't, we're, we're not going to explore anymore. But I'm trying to figure out where th where shit is. First of all, I want to have a look at thing down there. No, it goes into that thing. Okay. Okay, it's a completely separate area. Never mind then. But we can have a look at uh, we can have a look at the prison from here. Sure, yeah, I know that makes more sense. 
then the plaza is over there. Yeah, that's a totally different area. How foolish of me. But then it must have been some, it must be somewhere over there. Oh, we can actually see that. Ooh. We can see some cell doors. And that's the elevator that goes down. Okay, this is oriented that way. And these chairs are the bridge. Then it goes down. Okay, the profane capital is somewhere underneath this part here. Okay, good to know. That's interesting. So the profane capital is somewhere underneath that part over there, I guess, some somewhere in this direction. And then where do we have Ooh, it's very close. It's 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 very close to the Um So no. Then this path could either lead to the smoldering lake or what makes a bit more sense to the profane capital. I say a bit more sense, but maybe I I don't know. It's it's still kind of weird. So I'm wondering, what do I need? I'm already wondering, what do I, what what kind of thumbnail do I want to make? Let's go back into the Erythra dungeon. And and end the episode. Because we're going to... We're going back to the Erythal dungeon next episode as well. But we have to beat Yorm then. And the profane capital is kind of short. So technically I could have done everything today. But I'm, I'm getting tired. So... Yeah, this was the Erythal dungeon. Next episode obviously is going to be... The only area that is left. Um, so far without killing Emma. And minus the DLCs, I guess. Uh, they're an option as well, but I'm doing them later. I'm doing them them after after the base game, I think. But yeah, I hope you had fun exploring some of the some of the prison system and some of the irrefer shit eating lore that will maybe continue next episode. Who knows? Maybe the people of the profane capital also like to eat certain things that are fairly unorthodox but yeah hope you had fun i certainly had and i'll see you in the next one goodbye